Well, this is actually a big week here. First 100 engineers deploying to the field, highly trained. And next week was uh, still train about 100 more, so end up to about 200, 200 people. But we had a little issue this morning, you know. They've been working on the field for one week. And the uh, problem is the, uh, the bank was not able to dislodge the payment. So they are, they are actually working without pay for almost a whole week. We finally figured out a solution though. But at the meantime, the, uh, you know, I must say those guys are something else. They work super, super, super hard even without pay, you know. I have a lot of respect for them. Here's how the divisions are organized. Each bus is about 30 seats. So there's the uh, 19 engineers and uh, uh, nine uh, social workers. And that's how it's set up. Set up. And that's how uh, each division has an assignment of a zone. That's what they're headed to now. It's gonna be hard work ahead today. So here's I'm in a little bit outside of Wakai in a school. And basically what you see here is the uh, it's major damage in uh, new construction. And uh, because of that, uh, it's causing a falling hazard to the school next to that. So our engineers, or well, MTB's engineers, they uh, yellow tag, which means limited entry for the school. And it's pretty dangerous, you know? So we told the, our principals too, their principal to stay. Here's a house, it's an old house. This is one of those so-called country rural. It's the way the how typically fail. So there is the, the uh, wood. This is a post, look like every three feet or so, and a fill with the rocks between that. And when shaking comes, essentially those rocks fall out. So therefore, the, the, it does not take the whole building down. That's actually the very ingenious way, you know, where it's built in. It's just a danger here is those rocks could fall in inward, then it's very dangerous for people who's inside of it. So we are actually in that uh, with the MTPDC designing that system where that the rocks doesn't fall inward. So therefore that the, the safety is much, much higher, but yet people can build back this traditional way. I must say it was a pretty incredible first week of deployment. 100 engines out, we assessed about 1,000 buildings in the first week. But uh, one of the interesting things is the, um, this damage assessment, either red or yellow, I don't know if that really makes any difference for the people. Green, sure, people like that. Say, okay, my, my house is uh, safe, my business is okay, I can get back to it. Even some uh, small cracks, they understand why now. But uh, they know what the damage is, you know, red or yellow, it's dangerous, they can see that. But they have no options. They have no option, they have to stay there. They cannot just simply leave. So, so that's the uh, really the problem they have, right? And so this what we're doing, this repair assessment, is the really critical one. That's really important. Because repair assessment, give the uh, direction and price of how to fix it, how to fix the houses or buildings so they can get back to work, they can get back to home. I think that's a really, really critical.